Okay, good. So, uh, so we all we we are we already prepared the single line diagram. So now the we have to present we have to prepare a some layout or sectional view to the field engineer. So then he he can he able to know how to erect or how to place these equipments and what is the distance to be maintained and at what height to be placed and how to connect these equipments to achieve the uh, scheme what we proposed in the single land ag. Yeah, I mean that if you just uh, look into the uh, what 220 kV bus, uh, 220 kV bus, two buses, and a transformer is connecting to both. So, if you see this transformer, a uh, lightning arrestor, breaker, CT, and two isolators connecting to two buses. So, the same architecture, the same thing should be uh, represented in the site. So, this cannot be achieved in a normal way of design. So, there are some specific uh, kind, specific uh, designs. One is using the gantry towers, what I have shown in previous uh, lectures, images, gantry towers. These are the gantry towers, towers. So, we are using the help of these towers for these type of connections or these things. Booms, which are uh, connecting the bus, which are uh, buses uh, uh, erected on these booms. So, how to select these beams and booms? Again, some standards. We have to refer the particular utility standards so you can get. So, this beam is suitable for this conductor. This boom is suitable for this conductor, and this height is this tower is suitable for this boom. So, in that way, we can select the type of booms and type of uh, towers. So in some projects, you cannot see the towers and the booms. Only rarely you can see at the out, get a end of end, end side and at the entry side. B because they are, they are going with a normal rigid bus construction, maybe tubular bus construction. If it is a tubular bus construction, mostly you cannot see the gantry towers. And this again depends on how you are uh, connecting the system team. Means uh, on uh, how what is the design you are implementing in your system. So let's uh, uh, discuss those in a detail uh, in the exercise. So for time being, so to do this exercise, I need to know four two important parameters one is the phase two phase clearance and one is the phase two at the clearance one is the phase two phase clearance one is the phase two at the clearance the phase two phase clearance and the phase two at the clearance these two are the important uh, factors to decide my uh, the space, the spacing between the two equipments and the from the ground to the equipment, all the things. So, how to find out these phase to phase and phase to at, at the clearances? These phase to phase and phase to at the clearances are depends upon the basic lightning impulse level and basic switching impulse level of my substation. These phase two phase and phase two earth clearances depends upon my BIL and BSL levels of my substation. What is the BIL and BSL level? This BIL and BSL levels an indication of insulation levels insulation levels in your substation. These BIL and BSL levels are depends upon voltage factor. Voltage factor. 
if there is an abnormality in the voltage, the voltage is generally refers to higher potential to the lower potential. So if the voltage is high, like a huge voltage, abnormal voltage, then this voltage may damage the insulation of the equipment. So I have to select the system where the insulation levels are within the sum limit. Even though my any surges that are coming from my substation, out from my substation, beyond this PAL and BSL levels, then my lightning arrestor will also will place and will uh, will work and will suppress the voltages at that at that and at, at that moment itself. So the insulation coordination study is explaining about what are the ins uh, li lightning and switching impulse levels in your substation will that insulation what you selected for the equipments are within the uh, range of the limits or uh, means less than this uh, or desired ones and the next one is where you are placing the lightning arrestor to attain these values and after getting these BIL and BSL levels, I, I am calculating the phase two ground and phase two phase clearances. So this whole process will called as insulation coordination study. What is the equipment which is playing an important role here? Lightning arrestor. The placement of the lightning arrestor, the size of the lightning arrestor is the one factor which decides the PAL and BSL levels of my substation. So now let's talk about what is a BAL and what is a BSL level of my BSL levels. This we already discussed in the lightning arrestor session, but for time being, again, I am repeating here. So there might be a over voltages occurred in the system. Over voltages in the sense that voltages might be happened due to the lightning or lightning. The over voltages might be happened due to the switching operations or temporary over voltages. And if you talk about the gas insulator switch gear, you can see very fast transient over voltages. So lightning over voltages, which is a fast front lightning over voltages. Generally, uh, this is the curve. It's reaching its peak value. And suppose uh, eight microseconds and reaching its mid 50% of its value to uh, in less than some 20 microseconds, let's suppose 20 microseconds. This type of wave, we will call it as a lightning impulse wave. Lightning impulse wave. The lightning impulse wave characteristic is this. The head time is 8 by, this is called 8 by 20, uh, 8 by 20 wave. 8 microseconds is a front time and 20 microseconds is the tail time. Lightning impulse wave. And switching impulse wave, if this is in the range of 20 to 5,000 microseconds and the tail time this time is less than 20,000 microseconds, then we will call that as a uh, switching impulse over voltage. That which occurs due to the op switching operations of my isolator or breaker in the high voltage systems, or maybe due to the sudden decrease of sudden uh, change in the voltage, sudden change in the voltage might be the chances of uh, occurrence of this uh, uh, switching or voltages. So these voltages 
may impact on your insulation so in the insulation coordination study because the voltage is a factor which will uh, will which will shows effect on the insulation right so in the insulation coordination study the objective of doing is this i am determining the voltage stresses means what is the lightning impulses and what is the switching impulses that are that can be occurred in my substation and then i am selecting the insulation strength of to achieve the desired probability of failure of my uh, insulation so what i have to do suppose i am i am i am having suppose a 10000 kilo volt peak of the voltage for this i am designing a insulation this is my insulation i designed if i want to do the optimize if i want to do the optimize in this insulation then this volt i have to decrease the voltage stresses the voltage stresses can be decreased by these lightning arrester shield wires or improving the grounding phenomena so the lightning impulse voltages which are occurred due to the lightning strikes or sometimes due to the, the sudden load rejection of the loads and switching impulse like switching operations fault initiations or maybe due to the remote side voltage strikes temporary over voltages faults load rejection line energizing so these may affect on my insulation these are the voltage stresses on my system these voltage stresses will impact on my insulation and insulation may damage and it's create a kind it's a, like a fault in my substation so to avoid that to mitigate these voltage stresses i am using the such protection devices shield wires or a good grounding practices even though if you are doing all these things you cannot establish even though if you are having this but you have to maintain the insulation at some level right so what is the insulation required for my substation uh, for all the equipments now i am designing the transformer so i have to uh, give the insulation for the transformer for some limit for uh, some value so that values we have to calculate based on this uh, in uh, bil and based on the lightning impulses and switching impulses occurred in occurred on my substation so this process whole uh, by placing the arrester everything uh, this process uh, the insulation levels uh, to finding out the insulation levels uh, for of all the equipments in the substation is called insulation coordination study and this insulation coordination study will helps us to find the minimum phase to phase and the phase to ground clearances uh, in a other way of approach this other way of approach so let's start this level 